morning everyone. Today we're in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so we landed last night in Tabuk Airport and then we drove three hours to get to this amazing camp. We just had breakfast and now we're gonna go start sightseeing. I am wearing this gray abaya. I did not ask for permission from my sister or mommy, so if you guys see this, thank you very much. Okay, we've just reached our first location and boom, you can see a face. Madan Saleh is an archaeological site located in the sector of Al Ula within Al Madinah region in the Hejaz, Saudi Arabia. A majority of the remains date from the Natabian Kingdom, 1st century AD. The site constitutes the kingdom's southernmost and largest settlement after Petra. The site has earned a reputation as being a cursed place, an image which the national government is attempting to overcome as it seeks to develop Madan Saleh for its potential for tourism. Now we're at Gastra Al Bint, which translates to Girls Palace. In 2008, UNESCO proclaimed Madan Saleh as Saudi Arabia's first World Heritage Site. All of the rooms are believed to have been tombs. As you can see, the rooms are quite spacious. You can fit over 15 tourists inside. Most of the rooms were only one story, but as you can see here, it looks like they were attempting to build several stories. The cutouts in the walls are shelves. This room was amazing. You could see how they actually carved the rooms. They would put wood and water to expand the rocks. The archaeological site lies in an arid environment. The dry climate, the lack of resettlement after the site was abandoned, and the prevailing local beliefs have all led to its extraordinary state of preservation. So we're in the middle of all these rocks and stuff and basically he showed us the old Arabian water tank. They cut out little lines in the rock and it filters the water all the way down over here. And that's, that's pretty deep so that's where they collect all the water. One of the drivers owned a camel so he took us over to his camel farm. They actually milked the camel in front of us. The camels were super gentle. They didn't spit, they didn't bite. In fact, they even let us dress them up a little bit. The photo ops were amazing. Now we're having lunch! We had stuffed eggplant and stuffed zucchini, which I believe is called kusa mahshi. Okay, so we just got to Elephant Rock, and as you can see, there's a lot of construction happening just in the front because there's basically, there's gonna be a concert next weekend. Enrique's gonna play in it, but it's gonna be a massive festival. Elephant rock in Arabic is called Jabal al Fil. We then went up to this amazing viewing point where you could see the entire Al Ula city. We then drove up to the lion tombs of Didan, which are basically tombs carved on the side of the mountain. Then we had dinner and we went to bed. Good morning everyone. It's 5.40 in the morning and we're going for a sunrise hike. It's hard to see, yo. Super steep. Here we go. That's our camp down there. So as you can see, we climbed up the mountains just behind our camp. Once you reach the top, it is quite flat. It was quite a hike, but it was definitely worth the sunrise view. He's just resting, he didn't die. You can still see the moon. This is what the other side of the mountain looked like. Okay, we made it to the top, we saw the sunrise, and now we are heading back down. Oh, 
Okay, we finished with the truck, we finished with breakfast, and now we're here. I do not know what this place is called, but um, it's a bridge rock, rock bridge. Can somebody please in the comments tell me what we're looking at? Thank you. drove in about like 30 minutes. The car's right here. The road is now blocked by a tree, so we're gonna go walking. No idea what's on the other side, but let's go find out. We had to climb under some rocks. We were definitely just going with the flow and exploring. One of the drivers knew this area and he was quite excited to show us. It was like a secret hidden little Petra area. I thought this was a good idea. That's them taking photos of us, very committed. Check it out, it was like a little hidden oasis. Rani, Rani. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, uh, Amani, and uh, your company also working. Yeah. And all and, and now we're, we're in Old Town. Old Town. <laughs> El Ula Old Town is also known as Heritage Village. It was once the home of nearly 900 houses, 400 shops, and five town squares. You can also find a castle here, which dates back to the 10th century. The staircase has been restored, so you can now climb it. Are you tired? A bit. <laughs> yeah. a long day. Long day. So now we're at the top of the castle. Woo! We are rocking around Old Town. We're looking at Azarwizens. We were just at the fort, the castle. Let's have a peek inside this room. It's very dark. I joke from the top that when you look at it, it looks like a Game of Thrones, but after the dragons had come through. Okay, so we're just at the airport. We're on our way back to Dubai. Honestly, it was an amazing trip. I definitely think the highlight was uh, Madame Sada. That was really, really cool. We're one of the first few tourists to be there. Nobody wants to be on camera. I've asked them. It was a really good trip. Do you want to be on camera? Hi, hi, hi. Hi. You want to be on camera? What was your favorite part of the trip? I really like, really enjoyed the... the... <laughs> I enjoyed the Nabatia, Nabatia Archaeological Site, it was really good. Yeah, the, the, the Madam Sala place. Yeah. What would you rate it out of uh, 10? I would say a good uh, 9. Yeah. 9, yeah, 9. Yeah. Okay, we have a very high review, so make sure you guys go and check out Saudi. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, until the next adventure, bye!
know, a man or a bear. You see it there, yeah. it's clear. Amani, yeah, what do you see here? 